guys welcome back to my channel my name is nana and today i am here with a recap of the previous hundred part let's get into the video this is from three years ago so here we are at the very very beginning and i'm making stuff and i was talking about a lot of things and looking back at the video i don't know what the accent was it sounds so weird and they just look at themselves and think oh my god did i ever put myself on internet like this so um yeah why are we talking like this oh are we getting intimate so we moved in and we did a little refurnishing in the house and someone commented actually on the video telling me i could have just sold the wallpaper and i totally agree this was like such a noob episode and i could just really tell i hadn't played that game in like forever so we went on a manhunt and we found timothy timothy and staff had a real good connection and we thought you know what it is a good good sim to get babies from so what we did we moved in and yeah got together so after moving in with timothy we realized he has a daughter and this daughter is from a previous relationship with his wife relationship with his wife whoa the accent and what we just decide is to keep sally and kill timothy because that only seems fair however for some reason he seemed immortal we tried to make walls didn't work well, oh, the walls were, just Timothy seemed to survive. Couldn't, you couldn't kill the dude. I was so mad. Around that time, in the next episode, we decided to move out again. And since he didn't want to die in the first place, we just decided to lock him up again. And yeah, out of the blue, a fire started and it killed everyone besides Timothy. Who was ironically saved by the walls who were put there to kill him in the first place. The way I respond to it doesn't really make it any better. And yeah, till Tim was still alive. Well, around episode 9, Tim is still dying. He's basically laying on the floor of our new house and he's stinking, he's starving, yet he's laying there in the middle of the backyard, dying. Nobody cares about him, but he still survives, which is like, how? How did he do that? And at the end, a baby pops up. So that will be the birth of her very first a very first. Our very first baby. It took like a long time before he died, but finally he died. Oh, yeah. Also start a home business, which turns out to be a lot harder than we thought, and yeah, we kind of suck at it. A new house, and at one point, baby number two arrives, and no, we don't kill this baby dad. At one point, we have a new house again, because, you know, I love moving, apparently. Our dad keeps dying, which is so stupid, because <laughs> you never pay attention to him yet when he wants to die, you're like, no. Eventually, he drank it, and he made it, and he's still alive, apparently. Well, obviously, because he's still in this part, so... Spoiler alert, Ali ages up and she moves out and Steph gets pregnant again and we have another baby, which is a boy, and then we move out. I'm sorry, that introduction was just so long. I just, I need to work on that, like, girl, get it together. So that was three years ago, and now the previous 80 parts. Jonathan and Christina get married at episode 31. We have Jojo the dog, Cuddles the cat, Jonathan dies, Alicia, Gallery, and Max are taken away and we give birth to a new baby which we call Jonathan Maxine and our second cat which is Rags it maybe I, I really don't know which came first Cuddles or Rags but you know what we have both of them and then a genie grants our wish and Jonathan has returned from the dead. Our cats had babies and now there's Dopey, Pixie and Cloth. And then Maxine ages up and we get Gallery back. We then try to get our kids into a private school but we try this throughout the entire season and it just never works out for us. We also managed to get Alicia back in the family. Sally then moves back in. Katrina seems to be taking over the role of staff and I don't really like that very much. We also get twins, Waylon and Winter, and we're still missing one of our babies, Max, but it doesn't look like we're getting him back at all. <laughs> the twins age up. We move Sally out in hope that we can get Max back, which worked. We then had her officially adopt Alicia as well, and we move out again. We managed to get all the children back to step. Step. We managed to get all the children back to Steph. She's able to adopt these children because they were never taken away from her, but by doing so, she's now the parent of these children. But at least 
At least we got our children back. Our house at this point is very crowded. <laughs> We're starting to pay more attention to gardening and especially Grandpa. Sophia seems to be a very mean girl. Honestly, she kept attacking everyone. Then Waylon is standing up for Winter and attacks Alicia. I feel like we need some bonding, so we take our only trip in 90 parts. It's like the calm before the storm. I'm spending so much time on the kids and developing storylines that I almost feel sorry for myself knowing what's coming up. We're back on manhunting and we find a lot of cute baby daddies. Sadly, our babies don't turn out as cute. I finally get rid of Jonathan Maxine and Gallery. Episode 68, I wanted some more diverse babies, but I just can't seem to get anything other than white babies with blue or brown eyes, pregnant and twins with this dude. The dude wasn't super dark, but come on, at least he was a caramel daddy and not even that worked. These babies are Tristan and James, and twins are now toddlers, and we get pregnant with another and have another set of twins. These twins are Drake and Lizzie. In part 70, I decided to play a game and if the guy won a 2 out of 3, he could live. If not, I would get rid of him. He won. Got corrupted and it looked like there was no end in sight. No winning. I got the game back, but it's not work 100%. Family tree is messed up. Only Zoe and Jeremiah server survived. Only Zoe and Jeremiah survived out of four dopey and claw survived alex drake lizzie isabella and grandpa are gone all right we moved house how could i forget that after 80 parts we have the headmaster come again and we still don't get accepted i guess it's really not going to happen huh I genuinely like the house we have right now. Three of our kids then go to the college and we use our first female to get pregnant. Part 85, we are getting serious about our home business again. We then get another set of twins, Brandbon and Brian. Somehow we can't make money and after 80 parts, my house is still empty. Mess. We start making our own furniture to save money and we move houses again. We are trying new hobbies, finding choco daddies and it's just not working for us. No new baby as we are in need of money and I am seriously considering moving again. I just don't have the perfect giant baby house yet. We are trying to make, we, we try to make money and then we get arrested by a hot cop. I didn't mind that very much. Brambon turns out the most depressed child of them all and slowly we are getting them all off to college and that brings us until now that is a sp that is what okay I'm trying to yep not working so that's what happened in the last hundred ninety whatever parts <sighs> a lot isn't it yeah I feel like I did a lot, but then I didn't really accomplish a lot. So technically, I didn't really do a lot. It just sounds like a lot. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.